time. Time is a form of measurement that can be used whether you're using metric or customary. It is shared between everyone. That's what makes it so nice. So we're going to practice converting hours, eight of them, to blank minutes. So I want to figure out how many minutes are in eight hours. Well, there's 60 minutes in one hour. That's a lot of minutes. So because there's so much in one hour, that means that I'm converting hours, a larger unit of measure, to a smaller unit of measure, which means we're multiplying. So I'm going to take my eight hours and I'm going to multiply by 60 minutes. And hopefully you can do this by pausing or doing it without me. However, 60 times eight is 480 minutes. Elapsed time. What is elapsed time? Well, elapsed, elapsed time is how much time has passed or will pass. And sometimes we need to figure this out. Maybe because you want to plan for a movie or because you bought your tickets and you want to know how much time is it going to be from the moment I start the movie to the very end. There's a lot of times in life that we try to figure out elapsed time or how much time has passed. So there's a great way to do this using a number line. I'm gonna actually show you elapsed time trying to solve working forward. And then I'm gonna show you how to work backwards. So let's say we have a time that's starting at two o'clock. That's my start time. Okay. And someone tells me, you know what? It's two o'clock and six hours and 30 minutes has passed. So after the six hours and 30 minutes has passed, how much time has it been? Or what time will it be? So we want to know the ending time. Well, I like to start small. It, I could go one hour at a time for six hours, but I know that six can be broken up. So we can work from that. So two o'clock plus two hours is four o'clock, right? And four o'clock plus two more hours is six o'clock. We need six hours. Remember, we're only at four. So we're gonna go ahead and two more hours is eight o'clock. And then the 30 minutes. So eight plus 30 minutes, the time will be 8.30. Let's work backwards. What if we're given an end time of 6 p.m.? And the elapsed time that was provided, or time that passed, was nine and three-fourths hour. Yeah, I'm bringing in those fractions. Well, when did things start? So, let's start small. First of all, I wanna start with the hours. There's nine. So I'm working with six o'clock. Well, I know that six o'clock to 12 o'clock, six hours go by. And I need nine hours. So 12 o'clock, subtracting three hours is nine o'clock. So I'm at 9 a.m. right now. That's my nine hours, I've got that. 
what is three-fourths hour? Well, when I think of three-fourths hour, the first thing I think about is a clock. And a clock is in the shape of a circle, usually. And a clock has 60 minutes. But my denominator is a four, so I think of dividing the clock into fourths. Well, this is the 15 minute, 30, 45 minute, and the hour at 60. So three fourths would be 45 minutes. So on my number line, I need to actually go back three fourths hour, so each 15 minutes. So that's 15 minutes. And it's 8.45, another 15 minutes, that's 8.30, and another 15 minutes, that's 8.15 a.m. And that's important to remember because you started at p.m. If they give you the p.m. and a.m., you've got to work with what they give you, okay? So my starting time is 8.15. Elapsed time can be tricky, but you can totally do it if you use a number line and break it down a little bit at a time. 